Just wanted to say what's up guys, thanks for clicking on my vid. And if you want to see what I'm doing when I'm not making videos, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram. It's underscore Marvin Ross, no space. Right now, you're about to watch my front slash front to front tutorial. Enjoy. So first, I'll show you the front flip, and then I'll break it down. Now with front flips, there's two types of tucking techniques. There's the over tuck and then the under tuck. People say one helps you go higher, one helps you go faster. It's all really personal preference, so I'll show you both. Here you see the over tuck, where your arms come down and your hands touch your shins, and they pull your legs and knees in. Here you have the under tuck. As you can see, they don't grab your shins. They actually go underneath, and they grab, pulling your knees and legs into your chest. Now, let's talk about opening your tuck. You want to open with your feet going straight down. As you can see here in this front, I put them underneath me, not out in front. You do not want to open with your feet going out in front of you. That will cause your front flip not to rotate properly, and it will end up looking like this. I'm opening up with them out in front of me, instead of underneath. Now, let's get to rotating. All of my rotation comes from my hips. So now we're going to talk about hurdling and punching. Notice when I hurdle, I don't take a huge jump. The hurdle is the jump you take before the punch. Notice on my punch. My legs don't bend that much. Bending your legs too much on your punch will make you have to extend more, which makes you lose height. Now for your arms. You want to bring your arms up and then your shoulders shrug. You want to make sure that you do not throw your arms and head down like this. Doing so will just make you rotate and have no height, looking like this. Dropping your chest and your front flip will just make you go to the ground faster, not rotate faster. Well, that about wraps up for the front flip part of this video, but really quickly, I'm going to show you my body positioning mid-air so you can see exactly what I'm doing. My chest stays up the entire time. My arms are underneath, my hands are grabbing my knees, pulling them into my chest as tight as possible, which helps me rotate faster. I put them underneath me, not out in front. And now it's time for the front to front. The most important thing with front to front is that you focus on the first flip before you focus on the second one. Well, I'll show you a couple good ones and then we'll break into it. key is to land your first front with your feet behind you, just a little. Then once your feet land, you want to bend a little, and then you explode back out. Make sure when you come out of that first front, do not rush it. You shrug those shoulders, get those hips up, and pull those knees to your chest. If not, you're just going to throw everything down, causing your front to front to look like this. Notice how the second I land my first front, Everything gets thrown to the ground, making me rotate way too fast and lose the height. And remember, do not hurdle too big, because if your hurdle's way too big, you're going to lose the power that you need for that second front, and it's going to make your first front go out way too far. Well, that's my tutorial, guys. I hope it helped. If you liked it, give it a share. If you guys like the apparel that I'm wearing, all you have to do is go to noobstacles.com. That's K-N-O-W, obstacles.com. They have snap bags, tanks, and most important, shoes. <laughs> so you go and check that out. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For my next tutorial, it's up to you guys. Just comment in the description below what you want to see. And if I pick yours, I'll comment on your video and I'll share it. And like always, thanks for your support, and I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah. The best thing about making these videos is I get to help you.